What's up everybody and welcome back to Rocco's Kitchen. Today we're making pizzelles. So why don't we run through what we're going to need for that and then we'll start baking. Also don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Check out some other videos. We've got a bunch of them. Alright, now for your pizzelles you're going to need three and a half cups of flour, half a pound of butter melted, six eggs at room temperature, four teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of vanilla oil, vanilla extract, one teaspoon of anise oil, and one and a half cups of granulated sugar. I'm gonna bring the camera over here so you can see what we're doing in our mixer and we'll get started. And to start, we're gonna add our eggs to the mixer with a whisk attachment. And just turn that up to high until our eggs get nice and frothy. We'll have a little more body to them. We'll show you exactly what I mean when we get there. It'll take a couple minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna take our baking powder and add that to the flour. And just mix those two together. That's good. I'll be right back when our eggs are ready to go. Okay, you see all those beautiful air bubbles in there? That's what you're looking for. So now we can start the rest of the process. So our eggs ready to go. And slowly add our sugar. Just let that stream in. And I turn the speed down. on the mixer. You want to go slow, just want to avoid it clumping up in there. Make sure you got a nice smooth mix. Okay. All the sugar in there. We're going to add our melted butter. Same thing, just a slow stream. sugar, our butter, and now we go vanilla extract, and our anise oil. We're going to begin spooning in our flour. Just want to go a little at a time at first. You can go a little faster towards the end, but you want it to come to a nice dough. It's just about keeping it nice and smooth. Be back after we got that flour incorporated. So also, every once in a while, I just want to come in here with a spatula and knock that flour off the walls. We're about halfway through with our flour right now. I'll probably just add the rest and do that again at the end. Okay. We've got all of our flour incorporated. Our dough's getting nice and smooth. So we're going to turn that off, get our pizzelle press heated up. And we'll, while that's heating up, we'll clean off the whisk and get ready to go. Our press is hot, so now I got a little setup here. We got our dough, I got a wet, a damp cloth that I can wipe my finger off to see why in a minute. We got a spoon for scooping our dough, the press, and also a resting rack. Now for our first batch, I'm just gonna open it up, 
and give it a light spray. Take our spoon and scoop, let's say about an ounce of our batter. Onto there. Now this part you're just gonna have to play with. See how much fits in your press. See how long your cooking time is. I think mine's about about an ounce and about 30 seconds cooking time. So now you just want to close it and give it a slight press. Don't want to press too hard. coming out the edges over here so it might have went a little a little heavy let's see what we got oh yeah a little heavy and a little light they're gonna be soft when you first take them off it'll harden up as they sit Let's see if we can't get some more looking nicer. I'm going a little heavy on that one. That's why you want your wet rag. See that they're not as floppy. Can you sit for a second? fork to just pop it up just don't scratch your make pizza maker careful there oh, I still went a little heavy on this one this one's looking pretty good I think we just left it closed for a little bit too long See, now this is just you gotta make a couple get a feel for it hopefully yeah uh, we can do that I'll be right back look at that third time is a charm Tiny heavy, but those are looking good. So, just take them off. And we're just going to continue that process until we go through all our batter. All right, see you in a bit. So that is all there is to making these delicious cookies. And I think I even managed to get one or two out of this batch that my grandma would even be proud of. So... It's a good day. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time on Rocco's Kitchen.